Hi guys, I'm doing my last commentary for this game for the closed beta. Uh, playing as a sharpshooter on, unfortunately, deathmatch. Because I didn't get to show you guys this map yet. Pretty much five seconds into the game, I'm already finding a person to kill and it's... Um, I feel mean. Because this is pretty much deathmatch for you, it's kind of shitty. Uh, so you're going to see people flank me and all the kinds of crap. This guy's trying to long range me. And he's not going to be very successful. So one of the things I did want to talk about with you guys is, uh, here, watch this. Let's be really mean. Oh. Let's let them weaken each other down. What are you going? Ah, he's mine. Sorry, man. You want to kill? Oh, here. Oh, you hit me, you bitch. Okay, and we're gonna go over right here. And go and kill this guy. Except I'm probably gonna die. Oh, what a dick. Oh, he ran away from me. So I was gonna talk about free-to-play games and why they fail. And uh, why they where they succeed. And uh, I figured that would be a bit of an interesting, talk interesting topic to talk about. Uh, because, you know... Whatever, I'll just do bad mana repair. I don't know really why he's doing that. I guess he just assumes I'm going to be attacking him back. Alright, here we go. Goodbye to you. Hopefully not. I can repair uh, at last. So, uh, where, where free-to-play games succeed and fail, um, which is, you know, an interesting topic considering this game is going to be free-to-play. And the biggest, obviously, option uh, thing is why do you make your game free to play to begin with? And, you know, a couple reasons that come into mind are, you know, um, here, let's, let's be an asshole and, and attack these guys. Sorry, I'm gonna talk into, oh shit. Oh. oh wow, that guy won by really hard. Okay, got him. Um, you know, when they feel like pay to win, pay to win is basically, people call it that when it's basically the person with the most amount of money wins because they give a bunch of exclusive items to people who pay money because it doesn't turn very fair. The best, the best idea with uh, free to play games is the fact that, you know, oh wow, okay, we, we, it, wonder, oh I lost. I don't think I died once though. No, no I didn't. No, oh, that was, that was sad for me. Um, it's the, the biggest, I think, drive for, for, for free to play games is obviously, um, it, the best part is there's a lot of people who right now can't really afford to play games. And I have some friends who don't have a lot of money, so they can't really play these games and stuff like that. The best incentive, the best like part about it is the fact that they can play with me, even though they don't own the game or, you know, I can try the game and I think it keeps it honest, you know, cause I can give it a try. I can see, Oh, do I like this game? Is this something I want to spend money in? Cause you know, I, I don't have that much time to, to grind in, in games. I don't really like to grind. I don't really like the grindy part. Some people, as I say, pride, pride themselves on it. So it's based on either time versus you get to, you get to basically inflate your community. You get to have a bit larger community. Games like, um, I haven't played League of Legends, but I know the system. I think it's like you unlock champions with either, uh, their point system or, um, amount of time played. Something like, something along the lines. Basically, you can play a lot and you can get the same amount of items. Um, and so you, like, there, there, there's, it's, it makes it really fair. Oh, well, we're not playing on that desert map anymore. You guys, uh, enjoy that one. <laughs> Um, it keeps it fair, and that's that's the that's the great that's the great thing about it. It can be great, but it's got a few disadvantages. You know, it's you know you gotta you gotta be. Oh, I should have done that. And I'll go over here. It keeps it fair because you get to try out whatever you want. You know, you get to. Okay. Oh wow, you hit me with your missile. Fortunately, this is not going to end up very well for me. Damn it. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I think I lose this one. Sharpshooter, not good for this. It keeps it fair because it's just like you know, people people can decide. Like you don't, you can't fool people into paying sixty dollars for a game. But at the same time, you know, you run into problems like um, you know, EA recently made their their Star Wars MMO into free to play, and that one was like kind of really. Oh crap. Uh... And that one, that one was not a good, very good system for it. Oh, you sneaky bitch, I almost had you. Oh, that was really close. It, it, and in that case, you know, have you even seen the restrictions on that Star Wars MMO? It's, I don't even play MMOs, and I'm just like, I'm like, why would I ever touch this? It lets me try it, but it's one of those things like, yeah, I wouldn't want to really touch it. And a lot of and a lot of the the MMOs, it's just like you know, it, they're not very rewarding. You know, I, I like the, I like the idea of spending twenty dollars once, and I, I you know, free to play is going to become more popular as more successful games grow, um, and that much is going to be very evident because uh, I think there's going to be a lot of more successful uh, titles that are going to come out that are going to be free to play. And I think someone's oh. Buddy, I'm overheating. I should probably just fuck off. Oh, he wants his kill. Oh, that that did not work for you, and it's not about to work for me. wins loses kind of thing. That's what, you see, Deathmatch is very kind of strange in that sense. I don't like that. Oh crap. Uh, I, I don't have enough heat. He got a good hit off on me. Which means I can just do this. I don't need my full health. Oh, come on. He's almost dead too. <sighs> and someone else got the actual kill. That makes me sad. It makes Mike a sad, sad Mike. So the advantages and disadvantages, you know, and there's been a lot of like really ballsy people taking advantage of these free-to-play models. Like seriously ballsy things that people have done. Like um, the greatest example I can think of in the past uh, couple of months is like is Diablo because. Um, Basically, what what uh, fucking Blizzard did was they took something that was originally a free to play model, and they uh, they took it and they just, they just raped it, kind of a thing. It's just uh, they had you pay upfront sixty dollars and design an entire game around an auction house, which was like, as I said, that was one of the ballsiest moves because you know they they basically took uh, the trust that people originally had, and I just got destroyed. I wonder if that was him or. I don't know. I, I don't think I saw him in my radar. He must have had the jammer on. Oh, he barely hit me. Come on. There we go. I, I, I think I was stuck next to something. Like it was, it was one of the, it was quite frankly one of the ballsiest moves I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was kind of disgusted by it because this is a company I used to really like. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out here while they're kind of fighting it out. And I got that kill. Oh, that's not nice. You don't get the cloak on me. Oh, very lucky with that toe launcher. Well, or very skilled, either one, because I was dodging at the last minute. Fuck, I'm trying to get on a train of thought, and I'm too busy playing this video game. And I pretty much spawn in a place where... Fuck, that thing does a lot of damage to me. You 
got the drop on me. Oh, what? I was do <laughs> you, do you hear that dodge? I dodged into like a wall or something. And he did the bad manner of repair. Oh, that son of a bitch. I don't know. And you know, as I said, when 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 you are attempting to make a cash grab, it becomes fairly obvious. I don't think there's ever been a free-to-play game like that that has ever succeeded. People even complain about the tribe system because you know, to them, the game is free to play. Not, and the the systems where it's basically um, like this this kind of demo system is what I call it. It, that's I call that more free to try. That's what I call it. And you pay for your money. And and you know what? And getting all the content in the game takes actually hundreds of dollars. Like, and that's just how it is. You know, it, it, they they fool you with this experience system with with unlocking stuff. But you'd actually have to spend several days to to get this crap. And I, I don't like that much at all. Okay, I'm kind of overheating here. I right, eat a missile. <laughs> hey man. What's up? <laughs> you you are a worthy opponent, my friend. I don't know why that missile that, that sniper misses all the time. <laughs> I like how we had that same idea. It's like fuck you, EMP. What the hell? Okay, kinda of just shut down twice. Wow, I won that. Okay, well I'm gonna put that repair thing down as well. And I see a battle going on in the back there. So I'm gonna go engage him in just a second. I am a sniper. I have to kind of be careful with my flanks. Uh, some guy's gonna be coming for me. I wonder if I'm gonna see the distortion from a guy. So you know, it it it's one of those things where it, it's the it's the initial feeling, and they will never. They, the thing is, if they fuck it up once, people will never forgive them because I don't think people forgive them for things like that. Like tribes, for example, is a game where I've actually gotten kind of sick of it. I'll be I won't lie. Um, and you know, it's it's mostly for the lack of updates. Like you're gonna have to have some map packs and things like that. Like something to keep it to keep people engaged because you know, there's about four maps in this game, four or five. Um, and you know, if they don't have enough, I, people are gonna get sick of it. I'm gonna get sick of it if that's the case. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you fucking took my kill. See, people are dicks and they take your kills. And that's pretty much it for me. I hope my missile turret hits him a couple more times. So that's pretty much the problem with deathmatch for you. Um, <laughs> I don't think I showed you guys a deathmatch game though, so I guess you, get to, you get to see it anyways. Stealing people's skills all the time. Have no more of this. I feel like I'm being I'm being shot at from long range. Like you. Oh wow. This guy's really good. It's also uh, my uh, gun, my my first gun isn't that accurate. And fucking the guy ran past me and I got killed by the guy behind him, which was kind of shitty. That must be the assault that's uh, that's above me. Win newbie. Obviously him. Obviously really likes that assault mech. Um, I think he's got a lot of the upgrades for it. I think that's what he went on along and did. And that that goes about along the pay pay to pay to win lines because uh, you can do that. Um, someone was actually complaining in my comments that their sharpshooter did not feel as good as mine. Well, that guy just took the default loadout. Like it's just he didn't need anything anything else. And, uh, took my kill, fucker. Oh, fuck. 
that was my opportunity to try and kill him. That is not working. I had that I had that thing healing me behind me and someone spawned directly behind me. Once again, problem with deathmatch. So that's why I try not to play deathmatch very often. Kinda of just mindless fun, I guess, you know. Oh crap. I got EMP'd, even though I wasn't really in the radius that much. I wonder where that wind newbie guy is. He's he's obviously picking up some kind of kill. Wow, that, that gives me a lot of health. I, I wasn't even repairing half the time, and I was just kind of getting all my health back. Right. Alright, you know what? Come on. Damn it. My, my, my sniper misses a lot. I think that's what they did as a balance fix. Even though it's in my crosshairs, it's not 100% accurate. Uh, unless I zoom, of course. Because some, some of those were like critical shots that could have made the difference. I don't think I was missing them. Honestly, the best way to kind of tell is if I, uh, I don't scope in and I try and shoot somebody. Like right, like that I know I can kill. I could swear there's some up, up up there. All right. So this will this will tell once and for all if uh, if they have a, a weird kind of a. Yeah, it's definitely missing. Okay. Wow, that I died really quickly. And there's that wind newbie guy. I don't even know where he came from. Obviously, the best player of our time. I, I, I think he has like all that speed stuff. Because it looks to me like he has a lot of armor. I also feel like I'm, I'm, I'm honestly getting hit a lot. Oh. Oh, he decided not to engage me. Can't imagine why. I'm just gonna duck over here. Oh, at least I'll be able to kind of see him. Oh. Fuck, it keeps missing. Uh <laughs> Okay, well that's pretty much it for that. And when newbie just comes in and, and sneaks the kill out. Yeah, you know, it's just I guess you could kind of say it's a frustrating game mode. This guy heals up really fast too. Yeah, you know what? I I would say he definitely has a a lot of things. And the experience kinda of keeps racking up for him. I kinda of wish I knew what he had. Holy shit. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know. You know what? It didn't seem like that was just pure skill alone. As I said, it, he had a lot of armor on him when I was whenever I was trying to hit him. What, what class was he playing? Assault. So he must have like racked up like all of the stuff in the experience tree, uh, which I can show off. Like, well, no, I can't. Well, I've already done it. So I don't know. I, I'm guessing he was just playing the entire time during the beta. And that's that's the difference it makes when when you've played for that long. Uh, I haven't played barely at all. So, you don't, you can't really, I don't know if you can really wreck people that hard unless you have all those upgrades, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but you know what? Uh, you guys will get to try it in open beta, and hopefully they fix some of this stuff and uh, improve it all around. Uh, so, uh, you guys all have a good one. See you later.